Hello fellows and fellas and welcome to the Homestead Prepper channel and uh, what we have here today is we're in an undisclosed location at another prepper's home and uh, we have improvised a hand water pump out of stuff we just had lying around and um, right after a word from our sponsor no sponsor alright well then we'll just get started um, like I said this is just some common stuff that we had laying around here this is some one inch PVC and um, uh, if you saw the covert well video then you know that uh, this prepper here he's got a uh, half horsepower electric motor running it and he also has a generator as backup and he's also got a hand pump and uh, his current water level is about 15 feet right now now y'all familiar with uh, uh, pitcher pumps they're only effective down to 20 or 30 feet now if his water table were to drop he's going to need some other way to get his water out and this is how you do it right here these type of pumps if you were to make uh, the casing you know say 60 80 100 feet down and then you make the um, the other part 60 or 80 feet you can get water from you know 100 feet down or whatever and uh, I just want to show you what we did and this is just a uh, one inch schedule 40 PVC and what we did is we screwed a stainless steel screw through one side and out the other and then we epoxied it just like that and then this uh, this prepper he came up with the brilliant idea of using a marble as a check valve you know? now I lost mine but he still got his so he, this is one of the larger size marbles and uh, you know I know a lot of y'all probably never played marbles when you were a kid like, uh, like we did back in the old days where we had video games but uh, uh, it, it, anyway they're cheap and they're available and it just fits in there just like that and then this is a uh, three-quarter to half inch PVC reducer alright this is actually made to fit in a three-quarter inch PVC coupling but what we did is we ground it down and with some sandpaper and we just fit it in there like that and then what you've done is you've uh, made a check valve and yeah I know you can buy them up at Lowe's okay this is stuff that we had on hand where you didn't have to buy one so that's part of it and uh, the other half of the pump is this is just uh, some half inch electrical PVC conduit schedule 40 and uh, I believe it is rated for water you just can't use water pipe for electrical and uh, what we've done here, same thing, drove a stainless steel screw through one side and out the other. We drilled some holes and you can see that's a smaller marble that we're using for our check valve. And I'll just show you how we got it on here. Show you what's in show you what's in there. and there's your check valve just another small marble the pen the holes and uh, what we did here is we went up and bought a tap from AA Casey which I think was a whole lot cheaper than one of the other home improvement stores and we just tapped that thing out and just stuck that in there and, and the way you uh, work a tap for those of you who don't know you screw it in there and you back it off you screw it a little farther you back it off you keep just doing that till you get down to where you want so we got this in there quite a ways and then uh, let me pull it out this is the closed nipple and that just screws in there and uh, what this prepper came up with his idea was is there's there's the closed nipple and these are two metal washers now we had to grind those down on a grinder and what they have to do is they have to fit inside this pipe like that okay so two of those and then that is one of these and you can find these in the end of any water hose right next to a um, hose bib okay so that just screws in there like this and uh, this is a, um, a fitting that he got at a home improvement store and you can screw the three it's three eighths screws into that and then this this fits in there like that 
and we just use some simple tools channel locks PVC cutter crescent wrench and a, um, a tap you screw that in like that and then oh see I screwed up got to put the check valve in there because it ain't going to work without it so we'll take that marble that's our check valve we'll put this back in there and like I said this, this is just uh, for demonstration purposes we're going to make a longer one and you just get however many feet of that you want and however many feet of this handle and you're going to be in business and he also put some Vaseline on there and that just fits in there just like that and then that fits in like that and then we're going to demonstrate and see if we have any success oh and the handle is just a a simple T fitting and two caps with two short pieces of PVC we didn't glue anything together we we're just and you see right there you're going to get some water and that's going to keep you from dying this is the Homestead Prepper out. Yeah.